Young Year here for another video. And today I wanted to talk about going out in my wheelchair and how the public perceives me. Most of the time when I go outside, I'm dressed pretty much how I'm dressed right now. I have my ID card and my, you know, important cards in here so it's easy for me to get without having to reach for a bag. Um, I'm wearing my sweatshirt, got my hair in a ponytail, got my legs, yoga pants. You know, I'm pretty much comfortable. But honestly, when you're in a wheelchair, you have to know that the world is going to treat you differently. And what I mean by that is either people are overly helpful, they rush to open doors for you and do things for you that you can probably do on your own. Because most people that are in wheelchairs, when they're outside on their own, that's pretty much a testament to they're comfortable with being outside. <laughs> they can open doors, they can do a lot of things. Because um, when I am out and about, people tend to make the statement, oh wow, you're good at that. Well, you kind of have to be, right? Nobody discriminates against people in wheelchairs. What? Yeah, we are discriminated against. Or going back to my first point, you're either, you know, they're overly helpful or they tend to ignore you like you don't exist. And, and that's fine too. But what I want to get at with this video is that people tend to assume that you can't do things on your own or they tend to assume that because you're in a wheelchair, they equate wheelchair with poverty. I'm not exactly rich, but I don't really consider myself poor. Um, I do pretty well. Um, not to say that people, all people in wheelchairs do well, but people tend to somehow equate, oh, she's in a wheelchair, she needs charity. And that's not necessarily the case. So what you'll find is that a lot of people in wheelchairs, they do dress like this. But some of us, and I happen to be one of them, we tend to overdo it a little bit and we tend to want to dress up because you don't want people to look at you in certain ways and, and stereotype, you know. I get stereotyped because I'm black. I get stereotyped because I'm a woman. And I get stereotyped because I'm disabled. People tend to equate this with poverty and I'm in need of some type of charity. I've had people pat me on the head. Um, so it's kind of a triple whammy, but this is how Sonya would dress without a disability. And I just want to show you guys what I would do and how I would dress without the disability. Whew, that was my wheelchair Wonder Woman stance. But um, yeah, here I am dressed up. Um, Basically, and how I will make okay, I may not go to the store and buy cheese in this outfit, but if I wanted to make a run to my daughter's school or go shopping or go see a friend, I may very well, or even go downtown, uh, I may very well dress in a nice sundress in sandals and grab my designer bag, my Michael Kors. You know and go do the things that I need to do because it's just to escape the stigma that people in wheelchairs are somehow impoverished and they deserve charity and and those may not be the case at all and I'm not speaking about all people in wheelchairs I'm just speaking about you know some and it's just not fair to look at people like that, you know. I've heard people whisper as our rope has, oh, well, you know, they don't deserve any more special right than I do. And it's like, you're right, you know, I don't deserve any more special rights. I just want the same rights, you know. I, I think people should look at pe everyone else as pretty much like a blank slate. You don't know me and I don't know you. Therefore, when I see you, I won't assume anything and I let your words and your actions tell me the type of person that you are. 
I won't assume anything based on your race. I won't assume anything based on your gender, your sexual orientation, your ability or disability. I will assume only the things that come from your mouth and your actions. And that's how it how it needs to be. You don't need to assume that I'm poor and impoverished and dumb and because I'm black or I can't speak well because I'm black or you know I'm not as educator or whatever people want to assume whether I'm a woman black or disabled and I don't need to assume things about you you know whatever color you are whatever gender you are whatever sexual orientation you have because when we do that oftentimes we're wrong and when we're wrong, you got to eat your words. And very few people in this country have the guts to take back the things that they say in their actions. And on that note, time to say goodbye. Maybe I will go to the store since I am, going, I am dressed up right now. Thanks for watching. See ya.